morning. Would you mind um, running the meeting? Yes, that's fine. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Thank you. And okay. we have started the recording, so you can go ahead and start. Okay, excellent. Well, I will call this meeting to order a special board meeting. It's August 17th. It's uh, actually 2.04 p.m. Uh, so let's go ahead and determine a quorum officially. Julie, if you could take roll call. Certainly. Um, Director Alvarez. Here. Director Houston. Here. Director Deere. Director Williams. Here. And Director Gray. Okay, we do have a quorum. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Um, next item will be public comment. So do we have members of the public who wish to speak? And Julie will Thank manage you. that, of course. Thank you. Thank you, um, Chairman Houston. I do have one email that came into the board that I'd like to read into the record. Um, it's from Craig Cadwallader. Um, he's not able to join us today, but he did send a message. He also sent individual ones that I will forward to each of your emails. But if I could read this into the record, he says, hello, general manager Reed. I hope you are all well. I want to let you know that I submitted email messages to the West Basin by board members today through the contact form on the director's web page. I unfortunately and regretfully am unable to attend the special board meeting today to offer my encouragement to the board verbally to support and adopt resolution number 08-22-1171. Since I will be chairing the LA County's Safe Clean Water Program, Santa Monica Bay, Watershed Area Steering Committee meeting that starts at one o'clock and ends at three o'clock today. And I'm unable to attend both me meetings simultaneously as I indicated in my email to the by board members. <clears throat> then he goes on to say, for your reference, following is a copy of the text of the email message I have sent, which I hope will be received and reviewed by each of the board members prior to the board meeting today. It says support for resolution number 08-22-1171 proposed desalination project. Hello, and then it has each of the individual board members names. I am very pleased to have received notice that the West Mason Board of Directors will address at its special board meeting at 2 p.m. today, consideration of adoption of resolution number 08-22-1171 proposed desalination project. This is an important resolution to approve given the termination of the desalination project on December 22, 2021, that I am respectfully that I respectfully request your approval and adoption of today. I am unable to attend the meeting today, or I would have addressed this directly with you since I am chairing the LA County's Safe Clean Water Program, Santa Monica Bay Watershed Area Steering Committee meeting. That starts at one o'clock and ends at three o'clock today, and I'm unable to attend both meetings simultaneously. Please adopt resolution number 08-22-1171 at your meeting today. Thank you. Best regards, Craig Cadwell Wicker. So that is the one um, message that I did have that came through our email porter, but I will open it up if there's any members of the public that would like to address the board at this time, if they could. Um, use the hand feature. Well, and I don't see any raised hands that have um, asked to speak to address the board. Okay, it, or there are uh, there are a couple for those of us in audio. Yeah, let I I hear you. Is that uh, why, don't, why don't we just go ahead? Is that Connor? I think. It it is Scott. Thank you. Okay. Okay, go ahead. I see at least two phone numbers. So why don't you go ahead, Connor? Um, Julie, your your timing. So we I think we usually give three minutes. That is correct. I'll start the timer now. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Go ahead, Connor. Uh, board members. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, yes. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Chair and, and board members. Um, yeah. I, <laughs> That sounds like Craig, and in and uh, in the interest of brevity, um, I would say I agree with everything he says, and um, thank you for this. Uh, after a, a long time, we all spent working on this issue one way or another, 
Uh, thank you for this resolution. Okay, thank you, uh, Connor. Um, and um, I see another phone number on here if that person wants to speak. Yes, so this is Charming Evelyn with Sierra Club. Can okay, you go ahead. Hear me? Okay, yes. Great. Thank you. Good afternoon, board members, and um, I would like to echo both what Connor said and Craig said and uh, support and recommend that the board adopt resolution number 08221171. We fully support that. Sierra Club fully supports that, and uh, we look forward to working with everyone in the future. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And I think, Julie, you have, it's Connor's last name. I think you probably know Eberts, I believe. Yes, I have that. Okay, great. Okay, uh, I don't see anybody else. Is there anyone else wishing to speak from the public? Okay, hearing none, I'm going to go ahead and move forward. So, Julie, if you'll uh, pick up on our action calendar, item 5A, please. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, yes. presentations. I don't, and, and we, before we have no presentations, I don't think. That is correct. No presentations for today. Okay, so 5A. Okay, thank you, um, Chairman Houston, members of the board. The item that we have before you today is resolution number 08-22-1171, the proposed desalination project. Um, I do have legal counsel that's here today that would like to address the board on this item. Um, and then I believe um, we'll also be uh, recessing to closed session. We, well, Mr. Vice Chair, uh, Director Houston, we may or may not be in closed session, but um, um, there may not be a need for it. But to address the resolution that's before you, um, as you know, the uh, district had been um, um, going through extensive efforts over the years to look at an ocean desalination project from the pilot project originally to the demonstration plant. Uh, to the potential development of a, a site in El Segundo. And, uh, and you may recall in 2019, the board approved an EIR on some certain conditions. Uh, one of those conditions was the uh, conducting of a cost benefit analysis. Uh, and that cost benefit analysis was concluded last year. And at the end of last year, the board uh, uh, made a determination to proceed with alternative uh, supply sources and to abandoned the um, uh, that ocean desal effort that was taking place at the time. And as a result of that effort, um, if the board would like to uh, reinvigorate or pursue another ocean desal effort, the board would have to essentially go back to square one. Uh, the EIR has, has been decertified. And if the board would like to uh, revitalize that effort, uh, new approvals and a new process would, would have to be uh, implemented. Uh, and that is what the uh, the resolution essentially uh, does. It confirms the board's decision that in the future, if there's any decision to pursue uh, an a, a ocean desalination project, that it's going to be for, require a new discre discretionary action by the board and, of course, compliance with CEQA. <coughs> the intent of the resolution. Okay, very good. Um... Can I can you all scroll that down just a little bit um, on the screen, please? Uh, if we go to is there a recommendation at the bottom of that page or what was the last part? I'm sorry, yeah. I, I should have read my, yeah. my, my bad director Houston. I should okay. have read the recommendation. I'm sorry. Yes, thank you. Go ahead. Uh, the, the recommendation is that the board adopt resolution number 08-22-1171 a resolution of the West Basin Municipal Water District concerning proposed ocean desal project. Okay, excellent. All right, let's open up the floor to uh, any questions or comments from my colleagues. So, um, I, you know, Director both, there's Director Alvarez. I see he raised his hand, so I'll start with Director Alvarez. Okay. Um, I uh, think that this resolution moves us forward with bringing to a close something that I thought we had brought to a close last year, and that's the ocean desalination project. Um, a couple of things that I want to also uh, thank 
that I would also like to add uh, that I think are important uh, is that in addition to the actions mentioned in the resolution, there are two additional actions that we had taken last year. And that was on June 28th uh, at our board meeting, uh, we as a board unanimously adopted the West Basin's 2020 uh, Urban Water Management Plan. And uh, the um, 2020 Urban Water Management Plan as adopted by the board did not include ocean water desalination as a projected source of supply in the next 25 years. And it further went on to say that it uh, had a water supply reliability analysis that determined that sufficient water supplies existed or would be developed to meet expected demands over the next 25 years without ocean water desalination. Um, so if uh, with the uh, with that, I would like to uh, move that we adopt this resolution and insert a couple of additional whereases, if I can read them. Uh, whereas West Basin Municipal Water District Board of Directors on June 28, 2021, unanimously adopted West Basin's 2020 Urban Water Management Plan. And whereas West Basin's 2020 Urban Water Management Plan did not include ocean water desalination as a projected source of supply in the next 25 years would be added because I think those actions were before we considered the cost benefit analysis and other uh, items. Okay, so, so we have a we have a motion on the floor. Is there a second? I'll second it, um, Mr. Chair, but I'd like to hear the uh, now therefore. How, how, how does it read now? Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you for the second on that, Director Williams. So, uh, staff, if you all will apply. Director Williams, if you could repeat yourself, I don't think we under, we heard you correctly. Okay, I, I just, just wanted, I want to see hear how the now therefore be it resolved by the board. How does it read now? With with oh, the, the, the whereases. Uh, Director, Director Williams, that would remain unchanged. We are adding uh, the two recitals that uh, Director Alvarez noted. So the, the resolution itself would be unchanged, but we are adding two recitals. Oh, and for the record, could, for the benefit of the audience, can you read the uh, now therefore be it resolved? Sure. Um, Thank you. Sure, the, the resolution will now read um, as printed and then with Director Alvarez's two recitals being added. And then it concludes with the resolution part of the document. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of the West Basin Municipal Water District as follows. Number one, the board acknowledges receiving information regarding the dismissal <coughs> of the lawsuit concerning the project. Number two, the project approval and certification of the EIR that occurred in November 2019 uh, were rescinded and rendered ineffective by the board's termination of the project in December 2021. Accordingly, any decision in the future to pursue a water desalination project will require new discretionary action by the board and compliance with CEQA. Number three, effective date. This resolution shall take effect immediately upon its passage and adoption. And then uh, it ends with the uh, conclusory language about uh, when it was passed and adopted. Very good, thank you. Okay, excellent. So we do have a motion and a second on the floor. And uh, are there any other comments or questions from the board members present? And I don't have anything further either that hasn't already been said. So I, I support uh, what's before us and um, if there is no other comments, I'll go ahead and we'll go call for the vote. Uh, we need a roll call vote, please. OK, thank you. Go so ahead. I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. Um, Chairman Houston, um, Director Williams. Yes. Director Gray. Director Deer. Director Alvarez. Yes. And Director Houston. Yes. OK, the motion passes to. Oh. 
Three, three, three zero. Zero. I'm sorry, three zero. <laughs> three zero. Yes, you got that. And two absent. Okay, excellent. All right, thank you very much for that item. And uh, there you go. Your guys are ahead of me. Uh, let's see, because I just I don't have my physical copy in front of me at this moment. So uh, next is what our information calendar. We have nothing on it, right, Julie? That's correct. Okay, and then we have closed session. Uh, but Steve, uh, you you mentioned we may or may not need closed session. Uh, we do not need a closed session at this time, Mr. Uh, Director Houston. Okay. Very good. We get a little more time back. <laughs> um, okay, with that, are there board member comments or future agenda items? No, thank Williams? you. No, okay, Director Williams. Director Alvarez? No, hi. Okay. Uh, I have nothing further to add. I'm glad that we have gotten to this point, and um, thank you for those who did uh, take the opportunity and time to reach out and talk to us. Appreciate that. Um, and with that, uh, we will be adjourned. So thank you very much. Thank you.